Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. We know you're crazy for Shopkins. We are too. So today we're going to be teaching you how to make this adorable sprinkly cake cake topper. But first we'd like to share these other super cute Shopkins inspired tutorials created by some of our Dessert Network friends. You can click on the photos now or you can find the links underneath our video. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start making the bottom tier of our adorable little cake. For this, you're gonna need some beautiful pastel pink gum paste, and you're just gonna roll it into a ball free of cracks and wrinkles. Here I'm using my work surface to help me shape my cake. I'm pressing it down as I turn it at the same time, and this helps me flatten both sides. Once in a while, flip it over, make sure you get both the top and the bottom nice and flat. You can also use your rolling pin to help you get the top and bottom of the cake flat. Just be sure to keep your rolling pin nice and level. Make sure your cake stays nice and round. To start shaping the edges of my cake tier, I'm using my fingers in my right hand and pushing the gum paste up against my thumb in my left hand. Once I've done that all the way around, I'm now gonna pinch the edges, both all around the top and all around the bottom. We wanna give our cake tier really nice sharp corners and straight sides. Just like our real cakes. <laughs> exactly. This takes a little bit of time, but the end result is so worth it. Okay, so there's both sides nice and pinched, and to make our edges ultra sharp, I'm gonna go over it with my rolling pin one more time. Nice. The top tier is a lot smaller than the bottom tier, so for this, you're just gonna need a little bit of some beautiful baby blue gum paste. To start forming the edges, I'm gonna use the same technique I used on the bottom tier. The bottom of this tier is going to be hidden with some ribbon, so we're only going to need to make one side ultra sharp. What a cute little cake tier. Time to stack our cake. Just add a little bit of edible glue to the bottom. Voila, nice and centered. Just give it a good little press. To make the ribbon between the two tiers, we're just going to need some beautiful hot pink, and we're going to roll this out to about 1 8 of an inch. Now I'm going to use my awesome straight blade to cut out one little strip about a quarter of an inch in width. And the rest, don't crinkle it up yet, just put it off to the side because we're going to use that in a little bit. Cut the ends of your strip nice and straight and carefully add a little bit of glue all along the bottom of the top tier. Now I'm just going to carefully add my pink ribbon all the way around. This just happened to be almost a perfect length, but if you have a little bit extra, just go ahead and cut it off. To make the cute little ribbons that hang from the top tier, just cut out one long strip, cut it in half, and then cut out one little triangle at the end of each little ribbon. I'm gonna get rid of the extra length of ribbon I don't need by making a little mark with my blade. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off and size up the second one right next to it and make it the same length. All I need now is a little bit of edible glue on the back of each ribbon and I'm gonna put them into place. Wow, that's looking cute. Mm-hmm. To make the bow, we're going to need two little balls of pink gum paste about the size of a pea. Go ahead and roll one into a teardrop, and then you're going to semi-flatten using your middle finger. Straighten the sides a little bit, and then pinch the corners to make them a little pointy. I'm going to do the same thing for my second little bow piece. To give your bow a little bit of cute detail, take your veining tool and make a little indentation in the center of each piece. Use the same tool to make another little indentation at the top of each piece. Use the pointier end of your veining tool to give each little side of your bow two cute little wrinkles. To make the center piece of our bow, all you're gonna need is a little tiny piece of gum paste about the size of a BB. 
Roll it into a tube and then you're going to semi flatten it. Make two indentations using the blunt end of your blade. These are supposed to be little wrinkles in the material and go ahead and arch it. We only need enough of this little piece to cover the middle of the bow from top to bottom so go ahead and cut off what you know you're not going to need. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to each part of my bow and place the point right in the center, right where the seam is. Now I'm going to add the other half of the bow. Let's tie it all together with the little center piece. Just add a little bit of glue and place it right in the center. Make sure it's nice and stuck. Now we're going to start working on her adorable little face. So the first thing is going to be a tiny little nose. Glue this little tiny ball of gum paste right in the center near the bottom half of the tear. Give it a little tap, but don't squash it. Our cake is going to be giving us a cute little wink, so we really only need to make one eye. Cut out a little white circle using a 2A tip. Use the wider end of this tip to cut off a little tiny sliver off the bottom. This will make her look like she's squinting. Now we're going to make the pretty green color of her eye, so roll this out nice and thin, and you're going to cut out a little circle using a number 12 tip. For the pupil, you'll just need a little tiny bit of black, and we're going to use a number 10 tip to cut out this little circle. Now I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of my green circle, and I'm going to place it on top of the white part of the eye. Tap it down. If there's any green sticking out at the bottom, turn it over and use your 2A tip to cut off the excess. Last but not least, the pupil. Cut off any excess of this as well. Our little cake will finally be able to see. This is going to be her right eye. When placing the eye on her face, make sure the bottom of her eye passes the height of the nose. Peekaboo! We're going to add some really cute black lining around her eye. This is going to be for the top part of her eye, so just roll a nice long skinny worm. Add a little bit of glue around the top of the eye and start by placing the end of the worm on the corner of her eye. Gently wrap it around her eye and use your flat end to secure it into place. Carefully trim off the excess with your blade. For the black lining that goes along the bottom of her eye, you just need a very small, thin, short worm. I'm adding just a little bit of glue along the bottom, and I'm going to carefully add this little worm starting at the same little corner. Here I am using my flat end to nudge it into place. If you have a little extra sticking out, just trim it off. That is too cute. Sure is. For her little winking eye, just take a little ball of black gum paste and roll it into a pointy teardrop, and then you're going to arch it. Add a little bit of glue to her face, then add this side to the height of her nose. Carefully tap it into place. Now we're going to make the world's tiniest eyelashes. For this, you just need a little tiny ball of gum paste and roll it into a little tiny teardrop and cut off the pointy ends. We're gonna need a total of four of these. The first one goes near the end of her little winking eye. The other three go on her right eye. Carefully add glue to her face first and then nudge each little eyelash into place. Is that cute or what? To make her cute little lips, take a little tiny ball of pink gum paste, roll it into a teardrop, turn it over and make the other end pointy as well. Semi-flatten it with your finger, add a little tiny dent at the top with your veining tool, and then you're going to take the blunt end of your blade and make a little tiny line right in the center. To make her look like she's smiling, take the little edges and pinch them upward. Take the pointy end of your veining tool and make a little groove right in the center for some little added detail. Sprinkle's about to get her smile. Carefully add her lips right underneath her nose and give them a cute little tap, but don't squash her beautiful pouty lips. If you had the patience to make her little tiny eyelashes, then you're going to have no problem making these even tinier little eyebrows. As you saw, I just rolled out one little tiny worm, made both ends pointy. Cut them off and now I'm just arching these little tiny eyebrows. 
carefully add a little tiny bit of glue to her face and then you're ready to place them on there. Is that cute, baby? Beyond cute. For her little arms, just roll two little tiny pink balls of gum paste, roll them into a teardrop and semi-flatten them with your finger. Add a little bit of glue to each arm and then you're going to carefully put them on the sides of her face. The wider end of the teardrop is the hand. Oh my gosh, that is just too adorable. All Sprinkle needs now are her little feet, so just roll out two little balls of pink gum paste, roll them into a teardrop, semi-flatten the pointier end with your finger. Make sure you leave the larger end nice and round. Add a little bit of glue to the top of each little foot and place it right underneath her little mouth. I'm going to use my smallest nail dotting tool to give her some really cute little glow dots. First one big one and then a tiny one. You can use any brand of white gel food coloring to do this. Sprinkly cake is not complete until she has all of her sprinkles. For this we're going to roll out a long skinny worm of pink gum paste and then we're going to cut it into tiny little sprinkles. This will take a little bit of time but it's a lot of fun. There we go, pink tear done. Just so you know, the sprinkles don't go all the way to the bottom. For the blue sprinkles, I'm gonna use a little brighter blue. I'm gonna do the same thing, roll out a super skinny little worm and cut out a bunch of little tiny sprinkles. Now I'm gonna carefully add each sprinkle one by one. These also don't go all the way to the bottom of the tear. There she is, sprinkles and all. Doesn't she look cute? Now all we need is one final touch. To clean her up, make her nice and shiny and professional looking, I'm gonna give her a little steam. Oh yeah, I knew that was coming. Perfect. What do you think, sweetie? She's adorable, good job, baby. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later. Don't forget to check out all these other wonderful Shopkins tutorials. You can find the links underneath our video.